Hello and welcome back. I am Rafael Ademo. In our last tutorial, I showed you how you can hide the Excel worksheet when the Excel workbook opens. Except for the selected worksheets such as the dashboard or the landing page. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to open our Excel workbook like a software. In this way, you can automatically hide the formula bar and other functions that you have used in creating your Excel application so as to prevent users from messing up your formula and also breaking up your workbook or applications. This is to reduce possible error that might occur if you share your workbook with your colleagues or, or you distribute them as Excel applications for your customers. The rest of the workbook will be open for the user when he or she logs in successfully and also I type admin again which happens to be my username and password you can see that the workbook have been opened for me to use and I can navigate to any of them now that the tab is now visible here click on the developer tab and then to visual basics to open the visual basic for application development window I'm still using the file that I was using in the previous tutorial. So those of you that are following along, you can still continue to use that file. So come to insert and then insert a new model. This is where we are going to write the code. So let us declare this function. And then I will declare this sub so sub hide UI hide the user interface so within this I'm going to write the following lines of code so wait the application and wait here I'll be writing the following few lines of code that would hide whatever Excel property that I would want to hide so let me first of all write with with screen updating so let me set the screen updating to false and then also the execute Excel for macro a quotation mark and then show dot two bar and then open another bracket and then with double quotation mark write ribbon and end it with another quotation double quotation and comma then false and close the bracket with the quotation mark For the window state let me make it let me set it to normal so dot window state let me set it to excel normal command bar let me set the first one to full screen so open a bracket quotation mark then full and then close the bracket dot visible equal to false and then dot command bar another bracket quotation mark then for this worksheet menu bar dot enabled equal to false formula formula bar let me set uh, that one to force also the display the sc scroll bar let me also set it to false and the last one will be for the status bar so status bar let me set it to also false Then the next thing for me to do is to resize the window whenever the application opens so that 
it will look smaller than the normal excel so let me give it a width and height so dot height is equal to 420 pixels and then with the width is equal to 845 pixels and that ends my code for the application so let me write this also with active window when the window is active what do i also want to hide i would want to hide this the workbook tabs i would want to hide it also so let me make it false i would also want to deactivate the ruler so the display ruler let me set it to false also and the grids grid lines let me set it to false dot headings headings let me set that one to false also now i would want to turn the screen updating back on so let me write this also screen updating should be set back to true This is the code that will make our workbook open as a software whenever it is launched. So let me debug the code now. But first off, let me go through to see if there is any show to banner. So let me debug. So let me now save. And then close this and close the workbook and let us reopen it again. So let's come here and then click on it to open. So you can see that when the workbook opens, it opens in this very neat and appealing window. And the only way that you can get access to all the sheets in the workbook is for you to enter the right username and password. So let me enter, let me log in as an admin, admin, and then admin. So. You can now see that apart from the dashboard, all the other sheets has been made available for us. Let me go into the VBA and then click on the login and let's add this line of code to hide the login because the sheet login contains the login code let's come back here down here and then write this line of code when we come to the worksheet and up here okay we can see that the sheet with the name login is sheet one so let's write this code equal to false so with this let me assign a password character to it so let me come down here and then i'm choosing the x sign for it as my password character let me save 
save and then exit and let me run it once more yeah so you can see that when the user logged in successfully the login page was not shown and there's nowhere in the sheet that you can find the login page so it is hidden from the user and with this i have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you for allowing me to show you this trick now you can add to your workbook design so that it will look like a software on its own and also thank you for your time if you have not yet subscribed please do so and help me to grow this channel feel free to share the content of this channel to friends and loved ones do show some love to me by pressing on the like button also make sure to watch other videos on this channel because most of the tutorials that i've been creating on this channel are interrelated and they are all geared towards teaching you tricks and tips that can make you monetize your excel application thank you for your support and encouragement bye bye for now